My name is Richard Day. I'm an artist and I'm down at the Mod Gallery, 1809 McGee. Yeah. Um, tell me about what the crossroads used to be like back in the 90s. Well, early when I got there, it was uh, basically on 18th Street and uh, no, no, no one knew that we were actually in the, in the crossroads. It came later, but everybody would gather together. There were several artists, uh, all of us uh, use, using the space uh, more uh, as a work area than somewhere to sell stuff. And you were first, what, 18th and Cherry? 18th and Cherry, yeah. We had the corner there. When I first uh, was down there, there was uh, myself, Eddie, uh, Chris Davis, and Little Pete, and, and we all worked together, to cleaned out the warehouse, and uh, uh, he divided it in a workspace for each each of us, so that's how it all got started for me. And then eventually, uh, it started getting popular down there. People started coming to that side of town, and uh, it just grew from there. And then you moved to three twenty seven. Uh, yeah, well, uh, 18th and Cherry got so good that the people sold the building and we had to move and uh, moved into 327 uh, when Harry... 327 what? Southwest Boulevard. That's, that's why they call it the, the crossroads there. That's why Leedy named it that. So, uh, uh, I was in 327 for a while, and uh, Harry, had, who owned the building, had La Paz Photography, and, where they, uh, and then the digital cameras and everything come in, and his business started dropping, so he opened up the warehouse to us and I used it as a, a studio and gallery. Chris Davis bought the building, let me stay there until they uh, leased it out to somebody else and that's when I moved into uh, the mod. And how did you meet Brian at the, Brian Owsley at the mod gallery? <sighs> uh, a friend uh, man, I can't even think of her name right now. Uh, as I was telling her what my story about moving, she told me about her boyfriend, Ari, and Brian, and some people had a warehouse that they was starting to open up. So I went up there with her and met Brian, and and uh, it just went from there. And when you guys first started at the mod, what was the business like? What was the traffic like at the beginning? Well, uh, at the beginning, not a lot of people uh, uh, knew about us. And uh, it was a little slow, but then it started catching on. and. and uh, developed into what it is today. And what kind of difference do you see from what it was then and what it is now? <laughs> well, yeah. when I was in the back, I had my studio back there. And uh, 
it was uh, smoking in the back and drinking up front. And uh, now it's uh, drinking front and back. So it's, that's what's changed. And the music, well, there's a lot, of, a lot of changes that come on. You've been a part of a lot of those changes at the mine. Yeah, from the beginning, yeah. We're currently uh, get hanging a peace sign on the back of the building. And uh, it, uh, Brian's got uh, the di dis not disco, but the electric music crowd back there, so it all fits. And uh, they're all having a good time, and that's all that counts. So what are your plans for your art in the future down at the crossroads? Do I? What are your plans for the future with your art at the crossroads? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm just going to ride with the waves for a while until I get myself back together. So. What do you remember about Jim Leedy? Uh, what do you remember about Jim Leedy? Oh, uh, I, I never, I, I met him a couple times. But uh, I never got really personally involved. And uh, the two times we did meet, uh, we was discussing art and different things. Uh, uh, actually, that's when all the crossroads started. And uh, if I remember right, he, did, he had a, a different building where, uh, where he was showing art at before he got to bigger building. So, and I, I knew he taught at uh, the Art Institute. And uh, I liked the guy from what I knew, so that's about it. Anything else you want to say? Well, see you next first Friday.